it's one thing to create a service inside of VMM 2012. I mean, when you do so, you can click a single button and uh, pretty much deploy out a fully featured IT service in just a couple of minutes. But it's another thing entirely when you want to monitor that service for when it has problems. Now, there is some really easy ways in which you can create connections between VMM and Operations Manager to automatically create distributed applications and populate them with some interesting starting values that at least give you a heads up whenever problems occur. In my recent 70-246 series with CBT Nuggets, I kind of explain a little bit about how this process works. And in this upcoming micro nugget, I'll share with you a few of the secrets you'll need to get started. So remember back when we created that, uh, that RDS service and I said, one of the nifty things about this RDS service is if I go here to VMs and services and I go to the, the service view and for my scale out tier, gosh, I want to scale that server out. Well, when that happens, I want to be able to notify I want to be able to notify Ops Manager, right, that there's a new service to, to be monitored. Well, guess what that little connection does? Let's take a look here in Ops Manager. Okay, You're used to this screen, this little screen that shows me all my resources. But what I want to show you is not discovered inventory, but in fact distributed applications. Okay, Here's where things get really nifty. As a function of that connection, Okay, the, it, because the connection exists between VMM and Operations Manager, I automatically get these beautiful distributed applications created right here in this interface for my three-tier web app database service and for my RDS service. And the diagrams automatically get populated with what Microsoft believes to be a, a, a reasonable representation of what those services are. For my web tier, here I can scroll down and take a look at the network, for example, and I can take a look at the service server, for example, and here's the, the website. Is the website object actually doing okay? Here's the, the, the VM disk. Here's a couple of network cards. Uh, for the database tier, I can do something similar, taking a look at the database stuff that's, that's out there. Now, you'll notice that right out of the box, this, this diagram actually is fairly it's fairly simple. There's really not a lot here. I told you about all the magic of transactions per second in IIS and, and, and how you can look at processor and things like that. But we may or may not be seeing all of these things represented here. So I, told, I tell you this because the connection creates sort of a basic diagram. There's another one over here for, for RDS. That basic diagram gives you at least kind of the starting point for your own environment. In fact, here's my scale out tier and the servers in my scale out tier. Whoops, we got a problem over here with RDSH. Then once I've identified what the, the, the basic diagram would be, I can then go and create my own custom diagrams over here in my authoring node. You'll see here distributed applications. So these distributed applications are exactly that. They are a mechanism for you to create your own Want to learn more? Check out cptnuggets.com.